Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's new video, which is a tutorial on creating an HDR looking image from a single exposure by using Lightroom. So today's focus is going to be using the adjustment brush and also managing our highlights in our image to create a HDR like photo. So with that said, let's get right into today's tutorial. This is the image we've already gone through the editing and I'll reset the photo so that way you guys can kind of see the image that we first started with. And as you can see here, we have a very, very big difference between our highlights and our shadows. Our highlights are very blown up here and then our shadows, they're very, very dark. You can't really see the defining lines within the buildings in the bottom of the photo. So if we undo that, just from our edits that we've done right now, you kind of see we brought a little bit of that back in the photo. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is bring these shadows back in the buildings themselves, as well as also bring the detail back up here in the clouds and the sky. So what I'm going to do first is dial down my highlights. So just doing this simple drag of the um, options for your highlights, you really get that detail back in the clouds or in the sky of your photo. Now this is something that is you're capable of doing when your camera has very good dynamic range. The more dynamic range that your camera can capture, the more detail you can pull back in post from the, the highlights and shadows of your photo. So we dialed down our highlights to bring back the detail here in the sky. And so now I wanna go to my adjustment brush and we want to adjust a little bit larger size since we have a lot of, of area here on the bottom. And so I just want to, to cover over the buildings down here on the bottom. And we're gonna go through that. Okay, and now we're going to select a smaller size brush and get a little bit closer to the edges. We don't wanna to go too far over. We wanna make sure we have all of this area over here because this is our darkest area since it's further away from the sun setting and you have these other buildings that were hiding some of these lower buildings. Okay, that's, that looks good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to our shadows while we still have the adjustment brush selected it's going to prioritize everywhere we just highlight it so because we just did that we're going to take our shadows up and so already you can kind of see we're getting some of that detail back there and then we're also going to go down to our black levels and we're going to increase that ever so slightly just to bring back a lot more of that detail down there Awesome. Okay, so now what I want to do is we want to add another adjustment brush. And what I want to do is get a significantly larger size this time again. And we're gonna go in some of these other crevices here that may were a little bit darker than some of the other shadows here in the photo. And we're also going to bring those up a little bit more and then we're going to come to the right a little bit over here. And I might bring in this area down here. At first I wasn't, but I guess I'll go ahead and do that here as well. Okay, so now what I want to do is go back over to shadows while I still have that adjustment brush marker still selected. And we just want to bring up the shadows for this one as well. Now for this one, we're not, we're not going to um, increase our black levels as much. Um, just because if I do that, you see we really get a, a very defined, I don't know what you want to call this, but you kind of see it start showing that separation from where we have the highlighted area. And so that's why we don't want to go as far up on the second round, just because we've already done this side before. 
um, just pushing it a lot more you can really see the defining um, lines between the two and we don't want to do that so we just want to bring that out a little bit and that looks really good right there now if I wanted to also do a little bit more with the sky I could also do that as well by taking my adjustment brush and going over any areas that I that I want to specify so right now just because my exposure is high that's why you see this area getting a, a little bit brighter um, that's where we're gonna fix that later but we're just highlighting for right now okay so now we're going to reset our exposure and now we want to bring our highlights down not too much just ever so slightly dial that down a little bit and let's see maybe bring down the black level to where you get a little bit more definition in some of the dark areas so you really get a more dynamic looking sky which we we really want that to show and so that looks really good you kind of see where we started if I reset the photo that's what we had initially and now this is our final image that we have in Lightroom just from using um, our highlight tools the adjustment brush and manipulating the blacks and the shadows so that's very quick very simple easy way of getting that HDR looking effect to your skyline architecture landscape images just from using Lightroom and a single exposure. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and be sure to check out my website professorhines.com for more tutorials and also check out my online store for my Lightroom presets. This image that you see in front of you was edited with my Urban Street Tones Anniversary Edition and you can pick that up in my store also on professorhines.com. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.